Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can read Excel files in Python. To read and write Excel files, Python has different libraries which we can utilize to perform read write operations on Excel files. In the test automation framework, we generally use Excel files to keep our test data. Then based on the different test data, we test our application through automation script. So Excel is the most common way of storing the test data. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can read the test data from an Excel file. And to start with, first of all, what we need to do is we need to install a package or library to work with Excel. So I'll move to the package installation screen. And the library which we're going to use to perform read and write operations on Excel is OpenPy Excel. OpenPy Excel is one of the library in Python which can be used to perform read and write operations on Excel file. Let me install this package. So the package has been installed and now let me go back. Here I have one data file called as datafile.xlsx. Let me open this data file. This file contains data of different students. You can have any test data in your Excel file. Here in this data sheet, we can see that we have the student name, their role number, and their subjects. Similarly, you can store different test data in your Excel sheet based on your requirement. Now let me close this Excel file. And then here, what I need to do is, first of all, I'm going to import the OpenPy Excel library. And then I'm going to create a variable called as Excel object. And I'm going to load our Excel file using the load workbook method of the OpenPy Excel library. It loads an Excel workbook, which we are going to provide in the argument and then we'll assign it to the variable Excel object. This will allow the user to access and update the data in the Excel file. Here is the file which I want to read. So I have passed this value over here, datafile.xlsx. Now what do we need to do? We need to create an Excel sheet object. A workbook can contain multiple sheets, and at a time, we want a specific sheet to perform read and write operations. So for that, I'm going to create a new variable. And then by using Excel object, I can get the particular sheet. Here, I can either pass the sheet number like one, two, or three, or I can pass the sheet name like sheet one or sheet two. So based on your need, you can pass the value over here. I'm going to read the sheet one. Now let's see if we have correctly loaded the Excel sheet or not. So what I'm going to do is, let me print the total rows available in our Excel sheet. By using worksheet object dot max underscore row. This method returns the total number of rows available in the worksheet. Also, let me convert this to string because this is going to return integer value. Now let me run it. So you can see that there are a total of four rows. Similarly, I can print the number of columns as well. And for that, let me add another print statement. To get the number of columns values, we can use max underscore column method. Now, if I run it again, so we have total rows is four and total columns are three. This is how we can read the total rows and column values of an Excel sheet. Now, let's say if you want to read any specific data from the sheet, then how can we do that? 
let's say I want to read the first student name. So let me add another print statement which is going to print the first student name from the Excel sheet. To get the specific cell data, we can use a variable worksheet object and then we can pass the cell number of which we want to retrieve the value. If I move to our data sheet, then we can see that the student names are available in column A. And this is the cell A1, this is A2, this one is A3 and this one A4. So we can pass the cell numbers to read the values of any particular cell. To read the first student name, I can pass the cell value as A2. And similarly, if I want to print the third student name, then I can pass the value as A4. Now if I run it, you can see that it printed the first student name as David and the third student's name is Shelley. So this way you can read the values of a specific cell from an Excel sheet. Similarly, if I want to print first student subjects, then we know the subject values are available under column C. So I'm going to replace the value A with C. And now if I run it, you can see the first student subjects are physics and maths. And the third student subjects are history and computer. Now let's say you want to retrieve all the records of a specific column. Then what you can do is you can create a loop. Let's say for I in range and then you can start the range from 2 because the actual row starts with 2. The first row contains the column name. And then here I can pass the end value of range method as Excel object dot max row. Here I'm going to add plus 1 to the end values of the range method because the range method returns minus 1 value for the specified end value. Now let's add a print statement here to print the student name. Here to get the student name from Excel sheet, I can add an Excel object dot cell method. In this cell method, we need to provide the row and column value. So here row value will be I because we are iterating through all available rows and we'll get the row number based on the I value and the column value we know will be one because student names are available in the first column and then type dot value to get the cell data. Now if I run it, you can see it printed all the student names. We have three students, David, Akash and Shelley. This way we can print all the records of a specific column. Now let's say if I want to print the roll numbers as well, then I can update the print statement to print the student's roll number also into the console. Let me cast this value to a string because the value returned will be in integer format as we have provided the roll number in integer format. And now if I run it, you can see that here it printed the student name as David and his roll number is this. Then another student's name is Akash and his roll number is this. And then it printed Shelly and her roll number is this. So this is how you can loop through the columns or rows from your Excel data sheet. Here we iterated through different rows for a specific column. 
let's say if you want to iterate through different columns for a specific row so for that i can type for i in range and then here i can start the range value from 1 and then i can provide the variable worksheet object max dot column here instead of row what i'm giving is the total number of column values and let's say i want to print all the details of the first student then let me add a print statement here Now, if I run it, then you can see that here we have got all the details for the first row. We have got the student's name as David, his roll number, and his subjects. So we have traversed through all the columns for a specific row. This way, you can traverse through Excel Sheets to read your test data. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.